Okay, so today we got a weird one. We got a Dell Optiplex 390 in the shop. Customer complained that it would not power up, wouldn't boot up. Uh, so we did some diagnostic checks, uh, and we determined, as along with the Dell reps, that we had a bad motherboard. And as we can see, we get a diagnostic code of 3. Now, that typically refers to a CPU or motherboard issue. So I contacted Dell. They agreed. They sent me a replacement motherboard. Uh, we replaced the motherboard. Of course, this was after I did all the solutions that I found on various websites, including the Dell community forums, uh, which suggested it's a deep sleep issue and BIOS just turned that off in BIOS. Which, it's a great solution if you can actually get your machine to post and get to BIOS. Uh, however, in this case, we can't. Uh, so other suggestions were to pull the front USB headers. We did that with no success, and we even cleared CMOS by removing the battery. We tried to uh, different power supply, different memory. Uh, of course, we've got everything unplugged and still had the same issue. So we got the replacement motherboard in, and it looks pretty, uh, but it did not solve our issue. We had the same diagnostic code 3. So while on the phone with the Dell rep, uh, and while he was processing my order for another motherboard, I decided to try something completely off the wall, and I disconnected the power from the machine, and I unplugged our power button wire harness, tried a different one, from a, another Optiplex, in this case a 3010, but essentially the same daggum thing. So if I can turn around here, right? So we plug that in, put our power back in, and voila, we get a normal boot procedure. As we can see on the screen, sorry for the glare, the machine posts. We have full access. Of course, I don't have a hard drive plugged into it right now, so it's not going to boot to Windows. But uh, I did plug the hard drive in. It posted everything was working normally. So there's lots and lots of people out there complaining of problems with this series and several others that are in this uh, uh, various age group, I guess. Uh, anyway, complaining of this issue. They've tried motherboards. Uh, there have been large reports of this issue with this model in particular. I'm assuming, and this is a complete assumption on my part, that this same thing would be happening with the 790s and, you know, and everything else uh, in between, since this is uh, you know, pretty much the simple part. Now, of course, we notice there's five leads on there. It's because we've got a power button along with a multicolor LED in there. And I would I have no inkling which part of that is causing the problem. All I know is a different harness solved it. Now, the Dell... Tech guy couldn't believe what I was telling him, so he put me on the phone with a uh, uh, second-tier engineer there in Texas, and he also was just floored. He couldn't believe it. So anyway, they're sending me a new power button and lead once they found the correct part number and uh, a new motherboard just to be on the safe side. But I thought I'd throw this out there for everybody who is slamming their head against the wall trying to figure out why they're having so many problems with these machines. Try the power button. I've seen power buttons go bad before in the past, but you know, usually you push the button and nothing happens. Uh, and you try a different button and it's fine. But in this case, no, it was causing it to actually complete a connection. But then, of course, we get our diagnostic light and it shuts down. So before you go crazy, you know, just just try try the power button first. I know it sounds stupid and contradictory to everything we've been taught, but in this case, it worked. Thanks.